What's up guys? So back here at the Fiero, um, we are in the process of making our own coilovers on this thing. So uh, everything is rusty, nothing's coming off, uh, big pain in the ass. Um, so we've got this side everything loose except for the top hat bolts that hold it up to uh, the, the frame on the vehicle. Um, we do have the other side done, so we'll jump over there to kind of show you what we're doing. Um, but basically we're taking the coil springs off of this one, putting some cheap Honda ones in there that are kind of make your own coilovers. That way we can roll with that and lower the car because it sits like a monster truck right now. So we'll jump over to the other side and uh, show you what's going on and see what, uh, see what we're in the process of making. So this is what we are doing here. We are slapping these uh, little make your own coilover springs, adjustable coil springs in here. Um, really not too difficult to install. Basically just take out the old coil springs. These pretty much slip right over. Um, but this way we can get some adjustment in the suspension so we can get it the way we want to rather than just cutting the back coils like we did on the front to lower the fronts. Um, this is a little bit more user friendly so we can adjust it the way that we need it to sit. Um, the only bad part is are these are adjusting bolts for the uh, camber and casters so we're going to have to do an alignment afterwards. Uh, nothing too crazy difficult. This is pretty much a, a DIY. You can probably do it at home if you don't have rusted up bolts that don't want to come out and you need flames. Um, so other than that, it's not too difficult to get done. Um, we've gotten one side done and ha almost got the other side out in about an hour. So nothing too crazy. Luckily, we got a shop that we can use and get stuff done with. So we'll just keep going on the other side and kind of show you the process to get things done. Nothing like I said, nothing too crazy, but uh, we're ready to slam this baby on the ground. So let's get going. So this thing's a little stuck in here right now, so we're trying to get this uh, spindle pried out of the strut. Once we got that out, this whole thing will be pretty much cakewalk to get out of here. But everything is nothing but a ball of rust right now, so nothing's wanting to come out. Of course, the fucking tool's too big. This damn thing did, I swear. <laughs> Alright, you get the small one. No. Okay. If you're a diehard Fiero fan, I'm sorry because we're chopping this thing up. I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm not really that sorry. Um, most Fiero enthusiasts don't like touching anything except putting original parts in it. And we're not about that life. So we're just going to keep going with this here and sending it the way that we want to and chopping shit up because, yeah, way easier. Alright, so we got that out. Uh, we'll have to hop up here and take these three dudes out. That was 13, right? Uh, yeah. Luckily, this is nothing too crazy. Pretty user friendly. Oh yeah, you like my electrical tape on my intake, by the way? That, uh, that's, that's race car status right there. It works, it works. Extra horsepower. I was thinking about throwing a couple turbos back here, you know? Back in this area? Got plenty of room in the trunk. Rumor has it that you are turboing it. Well, you never know. All right. Cool, that one pretty much pulled the strut out. Go back down here. Oh, the truck out. Shit, everything's falling apart. There we go. That actually blows. That rusty hunk of junk. It's alright, we'll have her fixed up here in a minute. This is a coil spring compressor to get a strut out. So if you have this type of setup with a coil spring over strut, you'll need one of these to get the springs off. I mean, I guess you don't need it, but you know, unless you wanna kill yourself in the process. There's some pretty sketchy ways across the internet, but I'd, uh, I'd rather keep my hands intact today. Like uh, hundreds of zip ties. I mean, I guess it works, it works. Some 
nuts back up on there. You don't need to do that, but I'd much rather be safe. Sorry, because I like my hands. Since this strut's not blowing out, hopefully that nut will come off in one one piece this time. Uh, I think it was 21. So after you get this off, basically, this is what holds on the top of the strut to the coil spring. Um, so usually you can spin these nuts right off of there. In this case, because it is an 86, this most likely is not going to have to, or not going to want to come out. So we're going to put a wrench on here and then put a socket here. So we'll buzz her off there. Like I said. So we got, was that the other one? Uh, no, it wasn't. Okay. We don't <laughs> need that. Um, so strut here, uh, the coil over piece is gonna slip basically right over to the top of this. Big concern is, is this little metal ring up top here. Uh, will not let the sleeve slip over it. So we basically gotta grind the top of this off even with the, the actual strut casing itself. Nothing too crazy. Um, it's gonna get sparky, so. Take the first, guys. So that's the goal there is, so basically we don't want that ring touching the outside casing at all. So that way the coil over sleeve will slip right over the top of it. So uh, let's jump on back into it. It's hot. That one blown too? Yeah, this, this, yeah. Hey, Steven, what do you think about this, man? This one's blown too. So, yeah, two blown struts. Great. That's why it's so bouncy. Perfect. Oh yeah, we gotta drill that hole out. Not all the way. Touch a little bit more. I'm going to put the back in there. 
All right, so now that we got this in, we gotta stick these bolts back through here. Dude, those things rough looking. Holy cow. Whatever. All right, you wanna lift up the suspension for me? Just a wee bit higher for me. Just a wee bit. Ooh. Drop it back down just a bit. Just right here. Okay. I'm gonna be dead. have to kind of help that into place on each wheel. So I'm gonna start about midway on the little coilover adjustment. Um, that way if we need to go lower we can or if we need to raise it up we can. Just kind of a good baseline for it. Um, I suck at life because we need those adjustment numbers out so we can see where we're at. So we're gonna be sitting right at the top of the number four on the 40. doesn't matter because the fronts aren't going to come back off. So we've already lowered the front end of the vehicle. Uh, well, just basically, I shouldn't say lowered it because we just chopped the springs on the front end. Um, I can always get lowering springs later on if need be, but chopping them was okay for now. I took uh, basically two coils out of it. So we're basically sitting on the bump stops. I need to trim the bump stops down some more, but I figured sitting on the bump stops would give me a little bit of room for some suspension rather than nothing. Three break. You always need a Mountain Dew. Just a tad. <laughs> Just a little positive. Just need some positivity in your life, you know? <laughs> So, if you aren't following us already on Instagram, be sure to follow us. I'll throw both of our Instagrams up right now. Uh, I've got the Moto Dream here I'll put up right now. And then mine and camera is Gavin. Um, so be sure to follow him on Instagram as well. Pop over here. I'll put them up and also link them in the description below for you guys as well. Keep up to date on all the builds we got going on. Nothing too crazy. Um, on the previous video, you'll see us starting Gavin's gauge install on his Evo 10 that didn't go according to plan. <laughs> so he's got more stuff on the way right now. 
Um, so we'll have that going here pretty shortly for you guys. As soon as this cluster comes in, and then we'll have to get some uh, a longer vacuum hose and extended wiring harness probably. Um, but we'll get going on that here as soon as we get everything in for you guys. Shout out to uh, Glow Shift for a great customer support to you, by the way. Yeah. Was it good or bad? Good. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Toe's a little bad on this one. <laughs> we got way toe out on the front. <laughs> yeah, we need to line it badly. I don't know how you are with your shark asthma, so you said shout out the Glow Shift customer support. <laughs> I'm like, are you being serious? Or? <laughs> yeah, I'm being serious. <laughs> I can't remember the girl's name, though. I'm going to go to Ashley, maybe. Okay. Ashley, actually hit me up. <laughs> you boy single over here. Your boy single. I need someone in my life. Don't worry about the no hair on the top of my head either. <laughs> it comes with wisdom. What was that from? How did you do that? The lift, the jack. I was moving the jack. I'm gonna hurt. I was like, shit. <laughs> yeah. Pretty. We've ended up, I had two fists in the fender well. So we, that means we've dropped it about, you know, three or four inches. Not as great as what I was hoping for, but the front's right where I want it at. Once we bounce the front in a little bit, it'll drop down. Or not, because I'm still in the lift. <laughs> So that's sitting basically exactly how I want it to. The back end. Yeah. Look how massive those coil springs are. That's wild. That's your uh, your muffler bearing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Got to replace those every year. Sick. Other than that, pretty much done for the day now. These little bolts back in place. You don't need bolts ever. You need quick release. Zip ties, duct tape, electrical tape. Yeah. Oh. I think next thing on the list is going to be fixing these little areas. I was going to do that this weekend, but nah. I also found out 
the water is leaking from these. So there's these little seals around them. I'm gonna end up having to replace those seals because water is leaking right down into that. Mitchell, I know you love the cars, but. Yeah, several a little bit more. Alright guys, just finished up on the Fiero. Uh, Gavin over here, uh, behind the camera today. And uh, just finished up the Fiero. Well, I guess finished it up until next time. Uh, so we did lower it. Not a whole lot, not as much as I was hoping to on that uh, coilover setup. So we're going to end up chopping a coil out of it, or maybe two. Uh, but Gavin's going to join us on the next run again. Uh, so I'd like to thank him for uh, hanging out with us. And uh, for helping me film today, and helping us out here. So Gavin's going to be a permanent part of the YouTube channel here. So thanks for joining along, guys. Be sure to follow us on Instagram. Check us out on the next video. Subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit that bell button next to the subscribe button. Uh, thanks for hanging out today, and we'll see you on the next uh, on the next video. See you.